After six seasons starring on the beloved television show This Is Us, our first guest is back in the movies. He stars alongside two Hemsworths and a Russell Crowe in Land of Bad. It opens in theaters February 16th. Please welcome Milo Ventimiglia. <laughs> Congratulations to you. I know you got married since the last time I, I saw you. I did. I got married. Uh, very happy. Wonderful woman. Excellent. That's very nice. And yeah. uh, you know, you're. I know you know this probably, but your fans are like really excited. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> her last name, Mariano, is mm -hmm. the same as your character Jess from Golden Gilmore, from Gilmore, Gilmore Girls. From yeah. Golden Girls. Not yeah, Golden Girls. Girls. Yeah, you know. uh, from Gilmore Girls. Yeah, Jess Mariano. Um, <laughs> Is how it goes, you know. It's it's a very easy connection to make. Uh, yeah. We're Did married. you have that thought at at any point during the process? Did it go? Oh, that's a little I, odd. I th I think once people started to like know her name in connection to my name and my name in connection to her name, then I'm like, oh man, that's right. That was my. That's that when used you to be my out. name. What yeah. is her full name? Jara uh, Mariano. Jara Mariano. Yeah. But doesn't she have like, go by like? Uh, Makalapua Mariano. She's from Hawaii. Right. Um, but had. Grown up not too far from me in Orange County, and we like live in the same neighborhood. And are you aware that not all your fans are thrilled about <laughs> the fact that you got married? I'm sure there's a few broken hearts. There's um, more than a few broken yeah, hearts. There are a lot. In female fact, and male. I we don't know. To, maybe we had to whittle this down from a lot. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, nobody talked to me. I'm in mourning. Milo Ventimiglia is getting married, and it wasn't to me. <laughs> oh, man. Just found out the love of my life. Milo got married to someone that isn't me. We've never even met. So BRB, I will be jumping off very tall something. Well, I just found out the love of my life, and I guess is Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea the Asian. I missed that. I missed yeah, that one. Yeah, Chel Chelsea the Asian is okay. the love of your life, yeah. Asian L. Woods. This is uh, just found out Milo is married. What's the point anymore? <laughs> The point is, there's a lot of life and there's a lot of Milo Ventimiglia's out there. <laughs> Milo Ventimiglia got married. I'm gnawing at the metal bars of my enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> when I got married, not one of these. Literally, not, not one. And I looked for them, believe I might have been the only one. <laughs> You're the only I might have been the only one. Well, thank you. Thanks, one man. of your first jobs, I was yeah. learned today, as we have, as the Super Bowl approaches, mm -hmm. was you were on a big Super Bowl commercial. Yeah. I remember this commercial. Yeah. I don't remember. I didn't remember that it was you in the commercial. You're, nobody remembers your early commercial work. Nobody remembers my Apple commercial, my PT Cruiser commercial, or my Mountain Dew commercial, which was a Super Bowl. Commercial. Super Bowl Mountain Dew yeah. commercial. Was yeah. this like the first big like paying job that you had? I don't know if it was the biggest paying job, but like when you're a young actor and you get a national commercial, you're like, great, I'm gonna get a 13-week cycle, I get paid every 13 weeks, this is incredible, because you're, you're waiting tables, and you're working at a snowboard shop, and you're going to UCLA, and you're doing all this work, and also you get acting work now. Yeah. So you're like, validated. Yeah. Um, but I remember like showing up to set, and they're like, so you're working with the cheetah, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, There was gonna, a real cheetah? There was a real cheetah that I had to spend time with before that, just so the <laughs> cheetah knew who I was so it didn't attack me. I love that idea. And that the cheetah's like, okay, he's a friend now. He, he's cool. He's yeah. cool. Don't worry about him. We're good. We're good. Um, and so I had to spend time with the cheetah. And then I get on set, and I'm on this BMX bike, and I'm chasing the cheetah in the desert. You see a cheetah, like, ripping ass down the desert. Oh, we have the commercial, actually. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay, well, well I let's I look at it. We okay. might as well, well take a look. We'll talk about it after. Bad cheetah. Come a long way. I've come a long way. What's the audition for that like? Do, are you just saying bad cheetah in the audition? Yeah. Or they want to yeah. see you on I think, a... I think, no, they asked if I could ride a bike. Uh -huh. And then they wanted, they had a stuffed cheetah, I think. And you had to kind of like go up to it and, you know, grab and bad cheetah. Do they test you to make sure you ride a bike? Because actors lie about stuff all, all the, time. the time, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think I, at one point I could like dirt bike it when I was 18. I could ride a horse. I never rode a horse when I was 18. <laughs> I never dirt bike when I was 18, but yeah. yeah. They, they didn't check it, but I think they believed me when I said 
I can ride a bicycle. We dug up your um, like headshot from that time. Oh, uh, I think we have that. Here. That's your headshot. From that time. Now, did you? I mean, whose idea was it to take the shirt off? Was that the photographer? It was the photographer. Is that why you beat him up? Is that? Uh... <laughs> what year was that? You took that picture. 1995. Okay. I, I was took 18 years the following old. picture, I think probably exactly that very year. Here we go. <laughs> that was my, at the radio station, It was station, the I same photographer up. then. <laughs> For some reason, he didn't want me to take my shirt off. No, he, he I mean, the, the, weird, the weird part about it was, you know, you're young, you're impressionable, you're with a photographer who says he shot Nicolas Cage or something. Uh, and I'm yeah. like, OK. And he's like, you've got a great physique. Why don't we do something with your shirt off? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I look at my, I look like a child. You are I a am child. a child. Yeah. I'm a child. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that one up. Hey, no problem. At any time. I love when that one surfaces. It's actually my favorite thing. I'm like, great. I'm going to go, you know. Milo Ventimiglia is here. He's a movie star now. His movie's called Land of Bad. We'll be more with Milo when we return. We'll be right back. One guy in the tent. Two guys in the balcony. What's our time? This is gonna get ugly. I need you focused, head on a swivel. If you see something I don't, you say contact left, contact right. If somebody comes from behind us, you say six. Find all the rest. That is Milo Ventimiglia and Leon Hemsworth in Land of Bad. It opens February 16th in the, in the movie theaters. You play like a Delta Squad. Yeah. S squat, Delta team, what, what do uh, they call Delta, it? Uh, Delta, it's a force. I guess you could call it Delta. Force. Something These, Delta. Uh, special forces, Army Special Forces. Army Special Forces, mm -hmm. and your mission is to extract some soldiers from the bad guys, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, so uh, Russell Crowe, Russell Crowe plays a uh, drone pilot, giving overwatch to my Delta team on the ground with um, Liam Hemsworth is attached to my unit, uh, speaking in communication, he's an airman, in communication with Russell Crowe. So eyes in the sky, guys on the ground, and we're moving in for a uh, reconnaissance hostage recovery um, in, I forgot where, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere bad in the world. Hey, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere bad in the world. Um, well, you Australia. shot it somewhere great in the world. You shot it Oh, amazing. We in were in Australia. Australia. Yeah, on the With Gold the Hemsworth Coast. boys also, Luke Which, Hemsworth also. I mean, that's like being, you know, London 60s with like John and Paul. Like, yeah. I mean, that was some real Beatles. Yeah, stuff. they're like the kings of yeah. the country, right? Pretty much. People love that. Like, their people love them. Our people love them too, but their people really, really especially love them. Love I mean, them. and even to the point where Ricky Whittle, who's in the film, he's in, in uh, uh, my, on my team, he wanted to become a Hemsworth. I don't think you can. <laughs> can you do that? He wasn't blonde enough. Uh huh. Yeah. He had the jawline, but like the, you know, and the heart. They all have heart. By the way, like all the Hemsworths, most lovely, most talented. Yeah, they're crazy. a good, good family. Yes. Great family. And they like to have fun. That's where I was going with the last yeah, part. The yeah, the fun part. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. What kind of fun did you have with them? Well, it didn't get too crazy. It didn't. Okay. I got right. a little crazy with Luke Hemsworth. Surfing in Byron, he told me it was three feet, it was 10 feet. Um, and then later on, I get back to- Well, they have different measurements over there entirely. <laughs> yeah. And dangerous animals and all oh, sorts of stuff. Everything wants to kill you. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. I, I later, when I got back to set, so we're filming kind of in the jungles and the forest. We're just kind of like all over in Australia, kind of backwoods and whatnot. And uh, one day, uh, we're prepping. And I got all my gear on, like, you know, my kit, my rifle, everything. And uh, Ricky Whittle is there talking to, um, I think he's talking to the director or a few producers or something. Behind him, I see our prop guy, Grant, very, very sweet soul. And he's like blowing on Ricky's shoulder and like kind of fanning it. And Ricky's just no idea. He's talking to the producers or somebody. And I kind of look and I just like walk around with everything. And I look and on Ricky's back is this white tail or white tip spider. It's like a brown recluse here or a black widow or something like really foul that can kill you. And I'm looking at Grant and Grant just goes, I can't kill it. <laughs> and I go, hey, Rick, what's over there? And he kind of looks and I just go, bam. And I like hit his shoulder. And then he goes, what? And I had this, this uh, blade. Um, so I pulled that out and 
inside this like, little cubby where this white tail spider was, I just kind of like grabbed it and pulled it out. And just like a movie, it comes out like this. <laughs> and I'm like, I've got it. And I just hold it up to Ricky. And Ricky's like, is that, did you just? And I'm like, yeah. You saved Ricky's life. I saved Ricky Whittle. <laughs> Because God knows yeah, 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 we yeah, need yeah. more Ricky Whittle. We need more Ricky Whittle. You know what? There are not too many. A lot of actors play heroes. Very few of them actually are <laughs> heroes. And Milo Ventimiglia is that hero you've been looking for. His movie's <laughs> Land of Bad. It opens in theaters February 16th. Thank you, Milo. We'll be back with Dave Lloyd. Hi, Joy.